Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Libra. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of January 2021. A lot of you are going to watch this before January. I want to remind you that this is for January, okay? We're just going to see what comes up. What can we predict for January? I'm going to start right here. What do we have for January? Treasure your loved ones. It is important to love others deeply. So this is about appreciating and, um, you know, showing people in your circle that you really care for them. You know, give them the time. Uh, listen to them. Appreciate them. Do things for them. Um, you know, you never know what tomorrow is going to bring. So, uh, I think that's a pretty strong message right there. So, January, this is about being grateful for the people in your life. It's important to love others deeper, deeply. There could be somebody really close to you that you need to um, connect a little bit deeper with. It looks like it's a parent and child to me. Because you see that it looks like it's a it could be a grandparent and child as well, um, but it does have to do with um, connecting with somebody. That, there's an age difference. It's a it's a it's not a lover. Okay, it's a family member. What do we have for Libra? You know, this is, a, this is a 10. I just happened to notice that 10. And then I was looking at the card, and that looks like a teardrop. So I'm not sure what is going on. But the 10s are about completions. So you may be, you know, you never know what tomorrow brings. So make sure that you are, um, you know, showing everybody and telling everybody that you love them. Because you never know. You never, 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 never know. Um, movement, choices, decisions. Now, I saw the world. So I'm wondering if some of you are moving. You could be moving to a different part of the world, to a different location. Definitely something is completing in your life. Because when you see the world, that's a major completion. A phase of your life, something big that affected you is coming to an end. This is a big... Uh, had a big, big, big impact on your life. And you may be moving away from this person or this person is moving away from you or something is happening and there's going to be a separation. Um, so just keep that in mind. Anyway, twos, this is the two of pentacles. So I feel like there's definitely going to be a choice. You're, you're moving. There's a different door. You may be going through a new doorway. Uh... There's definitely an opportunity for growth. Um, now, you can, you need to think. You really need to think about your options this month. Um, you have an option to be in a partnership. You have an option to choose money. You have an option to just be carefree. You have an option to focus on something you're passionate about. Either way, you're going to be going through some major changes this month by the looks of things. Um, yeah. So this is a big month for you. It is. Movement. You're moving. You could be moving. There's definitely a decision that is being made. It's probably not an easy decision. You obviously have a lot of options. This has to do with, I feel like, going through a new doorway. Uh, hmm. Eight of Swords reversed. Now, this is being broken free, breaking free from something, uh, some sort of confinement, some sort of containment. An obstacle is being removed. Now, this could be an obstacle of fear. It could have been. But this is this obstacle is being removed. Now, you're free. You're free. You're free. 
You're free to be. You're free to do whatever you want, whatever that means. Three of Pentacles. You could be working with new people. You could be going to a new school. You could be going to a new job, working, learning new skills, doing something you never did before. Um, you may be uh, showing somebody what you can do. You know, somebody may be interested in what you can do this month. Um, I feel as though you're going to, all eyes are going to be on you as well. People are going to be interested in you this month. Um, Nine of Wands reversed. You, uh, this is, this is challenge. This is avoiding challenge. Great personal fear. So I feel like there's some sort of fear here. You may be distrustful. You may be distrustful. You may uh, be fearful. It feels like there's some sort of, Nine of Wands reverse is fearful. This this is uh, I don't know. I think you, you this month you may be working. You're going to be working with some people that you may not trust. You may not trust them. You may um, have a barrier up of some sort. There's, there's, these are both, both these cards signify barriers. It feels like you may, you may need to let your guard down. Maybe you need to open up. Maybe you, you got some new people around you that you've never worked with before and you're, you don't trust them. That's what it looks like to me. Whether it's in school or at work, it's like you're going to be like, hmm, I don't, I don't trust you. And I think that you need to have faith. I do. I feel like you need to have faith. Something is happening. It's a big change for you this month and I feel like you're going to be uncomfortable with this change and you people are going to be watching you and I think that's the most uncomfortable thing it's a challenge when you know that you're being watched by people it's like you know it's like when it's like when somebody asks you a question and you have the answer but you can't spit it out because you're so nervous so it's it's that kind of thing so it's like you just can't you can't get the words can't out of come up can't it's just like that it's like you can't go ah ah ooh ah ah ooh ah that kind of thing. But you have the answer. You know what you're doing, but you're so nervous. It, it, that's what it feels like to me. It's the fear inside of you that you're not good enough. But I think that you really are at whatever this is. Um, Six of Cups. Knight of Swords. Dark Priestess. Very interesting. It's interesting. It really is. <laughs> so you're probably going to be going within this month. You're going to be going within. You're going to need to reflect. You're going to be listening to your gut. Um, you're going to need to. You're going to really need to follow your gut. You're going to need to do something. You're going to be receiving some sort of messages, some sort of intuitive messages and you're going to need to listen to that. And I think that's what you're going to be doing. But I do think that you're going to be really uh, wanting to step back. I feel like you're, 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 you may be forced to do something new, just saying. And you're not going to like it. I think you're very independent. You'd rather do your own thing. I feel like there is somebody that is, is pushing you to do something that you really don't want to do. Um... I also feel like uh, for some of you, there could be the Six of Cups is, is memories, memories of the past, memories of love, reawakening memories of love with that Knight of Swords. You know, I think that you need to, re there could be a new opportunity. This could be like, a, say if you're single, if you're single and you're watching this and you know, you're, you're just doing your own thing. You're just doing your own thing. You're not looking for anybody, right? You're focusing on your spirituality. You're focusing on your shadow. You're, you're healing. You're, you're, um, quite happy with being by yourself, whatever. Somebody could be coming in. If you are the single person here watching this and you are not looking, you're not looking, you're, you've, uh, you know, you're fearful of, uh, cause there's fear here. There is fear. You're fearful of working with anybody. This is what this is too. There's somebody coming in to work with you. Okay. Whether you're saying, whether, whether this is a relationship or, or whether, I don't know what this is, whether it's your work, your job or a relationship, it's somebody is coming in. Okay. They're coming out of nowhere and they are, they may be telling you, you know, 
you have to do something or they're, they're coming to help you and maybe it's a project it could be a project it could be a work project it could be a school project I don't know what this is somebody is coming in to work with you um, and it could this could lead to uh, it could reawaken your memories of love okay if you haven't felt loved or you're not looking for love and you're single whatever you something's gonna happen here okay um, we have an individual here if you are in a happily ever after relationship right now, I feel like it that you are going to be having to make a choice, even if you are in a relation probably between two people or two paths. You have you have to make a choice. Either way, whether you are in a happily ever after relationship or whatever this is, you're going to have to make a choice this month. Do you want to get you? Some of you, the choice will be getting into a relationship. Some of you will, will have to do with a new job. Some of it will be about taking a new adventure. Okay, so I feel like you're definitely going to be making choices this month. It's in whatever choice this is, it's not something that uh, is an easy choice. Okay, it's not an easy choice. You're going to have to, your gut or your intuition is going to give you the answer. Okay, the answer is going to come within you. If you are the single person, person watching this, you're taking on this energy of, you know, choosing to be alone. You know, you're, you've chosen to be alone. Um, you've been keeping to yourself. You've been reflecting. Um, you know... I feel like you have realized your goals, you know, you've been working on your goals, you've been working on your spirituality, you've uh, um, been keeping to yourself. And I feel like whoever is coming in is going to be very intrigued. And this person could be a soulmate, okay, with a six of cups. If you, you know, this could be a soulmate and I think that you will know right away that this person is if, if they are, okay. Um, could be a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius, so another air sign like yourself. Um, and I think that you won't be expecting it. This is like a knight in shining armor. It really, really is. Okay. If you are the uh, male watching this, you could also have somebody coming in. This could be, or you may be running into somebody who needs your help. You know, it's this person looks like they need some help so you may be running in if you were the male watching this you may be running into somebody who needs your help okay the masculine you may be running into a feminine energy that needs your help um and this person appears to really need your help so um i do feel like there is some sort of deep connection here that you may need to uh open up you need to open up and not be fearful of it. Let go of your fear. Let go of your fear. I feel like, you know, uh, some of you are clinging to the past. Let go of the past. Let go of the past. Maybe, maybe that didn't work out for a reason. I do see the past here, okay? I feel like there's another opportunity. You're going to have to choose. Do you want to keep clinging to the past or do you want to move forward? You have an opportunity to definitely move forward this month. Um, six of Pentacles reversed. Now the six is that's lack of reciprocation, one-sidedness, um, firing, getting un unemployed. You may move. Uh, it's, uh, I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it just came out of my mouth. I don't know. This is an injustice. Um, unfair unfair you may think this isn't fair everything happens for a reason now if you're not getting unemployed there's somebody could this could be a rejection and like i said this is now you may somebody is is has been rejected or they or they're going to be rejected um maybe it's for a position could be for an inheritance could be for money or a payout or a bonus or getting unemployed or whatever something is happening you're not going this is this is unfair you're not going to get what you thought that you were going to get and it and it could make you angry because the nine of wands reverse can be angry somebody that is standoffish you could get upset i feel like you're going to have to master your emotions here you're going to have to go within 
Um, there's going to be a lot of memories this month. You could be remembering somebody from your past. Okay. Okay. Could be, could be a parent. Okay. I'm just being, I just got to be honest with you. Okay. It could be a parent, could be a grandparent, could be a loved one. Okay. Cause this is memories. And so just keep that in mind. You may be feeling emotional cause I thought that was a tear over something this month. Um, and you may feel like it's not fair, like something and even, and if it's not that kind of thing, if it's work related, there's a loss of financial stability here. Or there's a loss of a job or this isn't fair, but this is an opportunity for you to use your skills and go someplace else and show somebody what you can do. You're free. You're free. You're free. Cause I see freedom. The very first card is freedom. Okay. Um, but the only way that you can be free is if you allow yourself to be free. You can't let fear stand in the way or, or, uh, the past, the past. Some of you are clinging to the past and that obstacle needs to be removed. Okay. The obstacle and, the, and that's lies. You can't lie to yourself. You know, the past is the past. You have to focus on the future. Holding on to the past isn't going to get you anywhere. Okay, so somebody has chosen to be alone because of the past. And I feel like you really need to find a way to let go of that mindset that you have to stay in the past. Okay, anyhow, um, let's keep going. This is the Nine of Wands reverse is somebody that refuses to compromise. I refuse to compromise. I want my own way. This is somebody that has a lot of pride and keeps repeating uh, negative patterns. Therefore, they lose. This, this is a loss. Okay, the Six of Pentacles reversed. They get rejected because they refuse to compromise. There's another option here. Nine of Pentacles, going your own way. You know, everything happens for a reason. Perhaps you have the skills to do your own thing. You know, if this is job related, you have the skills and you are very capable of creating your own business. Okay, so you may get cut loose if this is job related from where you work. And this is actually a, a blessing in disguise. You're free to start your own business. You're free to be an entrepreneur. You're free to do your own thing. It's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. But you have the skills. Okay, and you are very capable of succeeding. So, but you have to let go of the fear. Do you know what I'm saying? Don't be fearful that you're going to be rejected all the time because your thoughts become things. You have to step out there. You have to let people hear you. Okay? You got to let go of the fear. You can do it. Anyhow, we have a, we have uh, we have this priestess here that is very intuitive. That is very skilled. But you have to be able to face your fears. This is like a spiritual teacher. Okay. You have the opportunity to teach others, but you have to be authentic you have to honor your truth. So anyway, I do feel like we have somebody here that is going to be, I feel like opening up their own business. Um, if you are the masculine watching this, you may be connecting with a priestess who is very spiritual. You may feel a connection with this person instantly. Okay. I feel like it is an instant connection. Um, you may be fearful that they're going to reject you. My advice is to give it a try. Give it a try. Show this person what you can do. Prove to them that you will do whatever it takes. Okay, prove it. Prove it. So if you're the masculine, you run into this priestess that needs your help. Prove it. Prove that, you know, what you can do. Prove what you can do. Um, but if you are the masculine watching this, you're going to also have to make a choice. Okay, you're going to have to make a choice between two. That's all there is to it. That's masculine or feminine. You're going to, somebody, anybody watching this reading is going to have to make a choice. Okay. 
And this is about the future. Are you going to let fear of getting hurt? Are you going to let worry and distrust stop you from following your gut? You have some sort of gift, I believe, that can be shared. Don't let fear stand in the way. I don't know whose message that was for. I also feel like you're going to be on your own. Okay, I have a couple of independence cards here. You're going to be um, working really, really hard. Okay, you're going to be working really, really hard. Um, you may be dealing with, a, I don't know if it's a father figure or a boss or somebody that is unreasonable. This person is unreasonable. They are um, hard to deal with, conceited, self-centered, um, egotistical. You're dealing with somebody that is not helping you. This person is not helping you. They're probably uh, holding you down. Negative. You're dealing with somebody that is very negative. I feel like you need to... Break free. You need to break free. You need to step outside of your comfort zone. You have some sort of skill that can make you money. And I know I wasn't trying to make this a money reading, but there's some sort of skill that can make you money. But you have to choose to let go of your fear. Interesting. Could be a spiritual gift. It could be like tarot reading, mediumship, something like that. But anyhow, um, but you have to not worry about haters. Okay, there's haters everywhere. Don't worry about it. Anyhow. Um, I feel like you are going to be connecting with somebody this month that it feels like it's a, they can help you. I think it's a perfect match. It could develop into a, a love connection. But the past is really holding a lot of you back. I do feel like it's going to be an emotional month for you as well. I do. I do because I keep seeing that teardrop. So it feels like it's going to be emotional because when you have to make a choice to leave something behind that, you know, you loved, I don't know who it is, whether it's a job or a person or whatever it is, it's difficult. It's difficult. So I feel like this month you are, look at this, she's on a horse. You are going to be going in a different direction. And I feel, I think it's very positive. I think it's a very, very positive direction. Um, but you, in order to go in that direction, you're going to have to reject the past. Somebody in some, I mean, it's just the way it goes. You're going to have to let go of something that doesn't give you any reward. Okay. You're gonna, that's what it is. This isn't very rewarding. You're not getting at anything out of it. And you're you're going to be going your own way. It feels like it's bittersweet though. You will you will be enjoying your life. You will be you're going to be you're going to it's it's difficult, but you're going to feel more at ease in the end. Whatever it is that you're leaving behind has needed to be left behind for a while now. You're going to be living your best life. But that fear has held you back. And it could be fear of being alone. Fear of not having enough money, you know. Once you show these people your skills. And that just came flying off. Once you show these people your skills. Everybody's going to want to work with you. But you have to show whoever this person or people is what you can do. Anyhow, um, there's definitely a lot of fear here. 
I feel like you haven't been being honest with yourself. You've given your power away. You haven't been telling anybody. You've been refusing to take a new approach. It's almost like refusing to wake up, right? That's lack of waking up, lack of awakening, lack of communication, giving your power away. You have an opportunity right now to take a new approach. Communicate. Speak. Good luck.